we often have the case that you want to apply an operation on each element of a list. And usually we do this with a loop like this for x. So x is the variable that represents each um, element of a list for x in the list range 10 colon. And range is now a list of the numbers 0 to 9. And the operation we want to apply in each of the elements of the list is x. So x is representing each element in, uh, cons uh, consecutively in, up in each loop squared. And then we want to have the result in a new list. So we have to have a new list. And then we append to result so we can directly copy this in here. And then we will get a new list that is called new list. And we need to define or initialize this new list here and display this new list. And we get a result, which is then the square numbers of the number 0 to 9, 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on. Now this is a structure that we very often use um, with this initializing the list, having this one operation and so on. And because this is done very often, there is a short cut or having this in a short notation, which is quite neat. And this is done as follows. So we again write for x in range 10. And then one might assume intuitively that this part of the operation is written behind it, but this is not the case. It is actually written before it. So what you can, how you can read this, that the operation x squared is done for each element in the list, in this case of 0 to 9, numbers from 0 to 9. So this is how you can read it. And because the result is a list, you write this in square brackets, run it, and you get the same result as before. So this is really quite nice. Because now we have one line of code, which are up here, three lines of code. And then of course we can um, set the result to this variable and display the variable. It's more like above, and we see the result here. Now these list comprehensions can take even more arguments. So for example, I can write a conditional here that this shall only happen if x is larger than five. So if I run it, I get only those numbers, the square of those numbers that are larger than five, so six, 36, 7, 49, and so on. And I can even make an else. Or first, if I would write this up here, I would have an x if x is larger than five colon indent this, then I have the same result, but I have one additional line of code here. And I can have even an else here, but then for whatever reason, this needs to be written in front here. So if x is larger than five, so the operation x squared only is done only if x is larger than five. If there's not a case else, then the list shall, shall contain a zero. So if I run this, I have for all the numbers smaller, five and smaller, zero, and then I get the square number. So if I would do this up here, have else, colon, and then I would need to copy this down here and have zero, and then I have the same result as down here. But there's again an additional line of code, which is of course something I really don't want. Um, so this is much more succinct. So here I have six lines of code here. I have only one line of code and I can even put in more conditionals. I can have nested um, list comprehension. So I could put in here another list comp comprehension if I want and so on. So this is why this is of course much better than this one. Reading the notation is initially a little bit unusual, but once you get familiar with this, you stop using this large bit of code here and only use the list comprehension shortcut. So this is list comprehension.